Good morning students. Let's complete worksheet number 4. Fill in the blanks by using words given in brackets in the correct tense. Now this paragraph is written in the past tense. So we will use second form of verb. The ancient Egyptians lived. Lived is the second form. In a complete way. While they built a magnificent civilization, they never forgot. Forget, forgot, forgotten. Leisure and recreation. The ancient Egyptians mostly played board games. Senate was a popular board game in their days. The game symbolized this struggle of good against evil. Got my point? So the paragraph is in the past. Senate boards were. So boards, it's plural. So that's why we have used were. Made of ivory and ebony. Sometimes the board was, so board is singular, so we have used was, made of plain, undecorated wood. All boards had a drawer to keep the counters. Had is the past form. Fill in the blanks by using the words given in brackets in the correct tense. So you have to read the paragraph first and find out in which tense it is written. When you dash the post office you dash see a man standing at the gate it means it is indicating us that you are going to do something in immediate future okay so you have to supply the verb accordingly so when you reach the post office you will see means in future means in the recent future you will see a man standing at the gate wearing a blue t-shirt and a green baseball cap walk up to him and say this guy is not so blue today this password will help him recognize you and he will hand you an envelope hide the envelope and leave at once as you turn the corner you will see a silver gray car with the license number 0987 walk up to the car there will be no one inside except the driver the driver will not look at you don't stop there but just walk past the car so we always use first form after will or shall ask you as you walk past you will notice that the driver will lower the window pane throw the envelope in and walk away that is all you have to do okay in this way you have to supply the present and future tense verbs now given below is a passage about the world's largest tree house fill in the correct form of the verbs to complete the article that ranjita has written for her school magazine now in 1993 minister horace burgess started the construction of the largest tree house now why we have used second form because in 1993 the constructor was started which is in the past this is made now we are talking about a building so we use present tense this is made of nothing but reclaimed recycled and re reused materials located in tennessee an 80 feet tall white oak tree supports because it still exists right the hundred feet tall tree house the enormous tree house covers an area of about ten thousand square feet there are so things still exist there are ten floors each of them we always use singular form with each so each of them is nine to eleven so b you can see b here b here it means is mr but we have to use is mr according to the subject means whether it is singular or plural there are spiral staircases now staircases are plural that's why we have used r balconies skylights a basketball court a quarter loft and a sanctuary even every scrap of wood window and everything but the nails are recycled nails plural so r is used 
as for the nails there are two lakh fifty eight thousand of them simple versus present continuous means the difference means simple present is used for the habit simple present is used for activities that are long lasting habits current permanent frequent means we talk of when we talk about the habits we use present tense radha cooks every day means it shows her habits that's a habit radha has present continuous is used for activities that are temporary or a change from the usual activities right when we change our routine okay when we do temporary activities we use present continuous tense for example radha is cooking her meals these days what does it mean she doesn't do so usually means she is doing only these days present continuous is used for activities that occur at the moment of speaking current specified or indefinite time temporary okay when the action is happening at the moment radha is cooking her meal right now it means at the moment she is cooking so we use present continuous tense the structure of the present continuous tense is auxiliary helping verb b means is am are it means is am are the present participle of the main verb it means root word means first form of verb just keep in mind first form of verb plus ing for example the child is watching cartoons on television now look at the picture below imagine you are a sports commentator write five sentences telling your audience what is happening in the field one has been done for you so with the help of this picture you have to write present continuous tense so the two teams are playing cricket right the players are excited since the ball is caught by a fielder the bowler is appealing means he has bowled out other players are looking at the fielder who is catching the ball the ball is in the air the batsman looks sad as he is out means we can use both the tenses the batsman looks sad or we can also use the bat batsman is looking sad as he is out fill in the blanks with the appropriate form of verbs given in the brackets now read the paragraph and find out the tense of the paragraph today i am going to tell you about mario means a person who is going to tell something about this person that is mario i met him about a year ago and we have become very good friends mario now when we tell something about a person who is alive so we use simple present tense mario comes from a half italian half portuguese heritage he speaks four languages he has a brother and two sisters all of whom are younger than he is his father owns a printing press and his mother helps his father manages the business mario wants to become a magician when he grows when he grows up he knows many tricks and often entertains us in school when we have a free period he sometimes also performs at school functions everybody loves so everybody is used for the singular that's why we have used s loves his tricks when mario and i get together he does now he is a second person and singular so we use es means d o e s does most of the talking he loves talking and speaks very fast he jumps from one topic to the other and sometimes he sounds very confusing but i enjoy i is the first person okay so we use only first form i enjoy if you write i enjoys that would be wrong listening to him mario and i have one thing in common the love of music he's very talented musician he sings and plays so he he is the second person and singular and plays three musical instruments mario came to india at the age of 4 and i know that he misses 
Lisbon very much because his grandmother lives there. He visits her every year, but I also know that he likes India very much too. This country is as much mine as yours. He tells me, the spirit of India is unmatched. He adds, right, means presently we are talking about someone. So we use simple present tense. Complete the following using the present continuous. Now it is clearly indicated, right. So the monkey is eating. So we use is MR plus first form plus ing is eating a banana we are working on a science project for school shashi is living how to play the guitar they are leaving for london tomorrow chandrima is going to office our aunt is baking a pie Noshin is building castles in there. Building castles, it, it is an idiom. It means daydreaming. Joseph is running the marathon. Bilbir is climbing the coconut tree. Jasmine is writing her first novel. Means Jasmine is singular. We have used is. Bilbir is singular. That's why we have used is. Right? So with singular we use is. Spellings. Fill in the missing vowels in the blank below the comp uh, to complete the words. So perfection was A E I O U. You know very well. So precious expectation, accommodate, photograph, electrician, commercial, extinguish, experience, atmosphere. Add the negative prefixes this or un. To the following words and make antonyms out of the two have been given done have been done for you means antonyms antonyms means opposite words so obey disobey equal unequal please displease respect disrespect satisfied dissatisfied popular unpopular tidy untidy similar dissimilar necessary unnecessary likely unlikely official unofficial comfort discomfort so this is how we can make the words opposite now punctuation ashley thomas a capital t capital looked up from the road he was walking on he was walking on and saw two things at once full stop we we use capital letter after full stop first then comma the sun had nearly set and sacking there was a traveler's lodge roughly 50 meters ahead full stop again the capital letter so then comma he walked in and took a cheap room he left his luggage unpacked comma went to the kitchen and asked for a simple dinner full stop again t capital then comma he went back to his room bolted the door carefully comma lighted Two thick candles, comma, and settled down to work. Full stop. He worked all night continuously, comma, leaving his bed only once to light two more candles, comma, when the first ones burnt out, full stop. All, again, capital letter, night, comma, the dogs barked outside and Ashley Thomas, Ashley A capital, T capital, wrote when he closed his book, in the morning comma the sun was already up full stop he capital hadn't an apostrophe t slept at all but he did not feel exhausted full stop now complete a conversation conversation a new student janvi has joined our your school she shares your interest in sports Complete this imaginary conversation. What is your favorite sport? You. My favorite sport is badminton. So you can write down your own conversation. Okay. You can write down your own points. Okay. This is just for your example. Why do you like it better than the other sports? I like that it needs agility and provides good exercise. So how, how often do you play the game? I play every evening with my friends. 
what do you think about the life that sports stars live i think it must be quite hard as they have to train a lot means they have to do lots of practice janvi if you had a choice which sports star would you like to meet sena nehwal is my greatest sports hero why would you like to meet him or her she inspired me even when i was very little if you had a choice how would you like to spend a day with your favorite sports stars i'd love to just spend an ordinary day with her is playing sports important for youngsters why do you think so yes sports gives us exercise and teach us about teamwork right now one important thing like i have written sports okay so we will write teach okay not teaches if i write just sports singular then i can write teaches what are your plans for this saturday shall we go to the tennis club sorry i have a badminton tournament now here is an article as a sports captain of your school write an article for your school magazine educating the students about tree climbing a sport about which not many youngsters know use the hints given below so you are given these hints okay on the basis of these hints you have to write an article yourself try it yourself however i have given it for your example but you have to do it yourself right tree climbing is a fast growing outdoor sport it allows people to climb to great heights safely one only needs one only needs a helmet rope and a harness in 1983 peter treman jenkins found in tree climbers internationally in the us it helps people who love to climb trees in 1997 in in japan a physically challenged woman left her electric wheelchair and climbed the biggest tree in the world there are many advantages of climbing trees it is a form of leisure a way of good exercise and very safe since trees are everywhere climbing trees is peaceful and relaxing it is cost effective and is a year round support it is no support it is s p o r d support right if you climb trees during the hot months you will get shade and in winter leafless trees offer high sunny spots okay so complete in your worksheet with pencil okay don't write with pen just with pencil okay thank you so much have a nice time